Hey string lovers, David Pichet here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to review the 4099 by DPA Microphones. This Danish company started in the late 50s, but it's really 1992 that became the company as we know it now. The 4099 is used a lot on big show business production. Does it really stand this hype? Is it the king of violin microphones? Without any further ado, let's find out. Alright, so for build quality, as you saw in the what's in the box, you can see that everything is really well built. You have the holder in rubber and then the goosenecks in metal. I'm telling you, this is a nice design and really well built. The microphone itself, the capsule, doesn't really break, like unless you stand or attempt to break it. But everything around, let me talk about like some elements of it. The holder, the holder by itself. You know, you have this little thing and you squeeze it in the side of your violin. Let me put this away so it's actually easier to see. You have the holder like this, and this is made to put on the side of your instrument and it squeeze it. Boom. If every day you use it, it has tendency to break over time. It's normal. But I have to tell you the truth. This is my third one. I had this microphone for about seven or eight years. I had to change this probably every two, three years. Why? Like this, the feed kind of breaks because you open it, close it, you know, wear and tear. Um, the cable, the cable itself is, is nice. It comes usually with like a smaller gauge uh, cable. This is a bigger gauge. You can get two different size of gauge. I recommend the bigger one. Um, but you see, I could unscrew this so you have the gooseneck and the microphone and then the cable and on the other end boom same thing so advantage to this it's changeable you could plug it boom straight to a wireless pack this is awesome I probably changed this cable two or three times it, it's a small details it's just for value and over time when you think of buying a microphone uh, because of the build quality of those things you have to think of like yeah, I might have to spend some more money over time to update it or upgrade it. Um, this cable, it's not a bad quality. It's really well done. It's just, you know, wear and tear again. One thing that is really bad is this. This is the XLR adapter. There's a little belt pack uh, clip. As you can see, it's not on it. Why? Probably two weeks after I bought this microphone, it breaks. And I'm telling you, it's great if you want to put it there. If you want to add this to like a sound card or anything without plugging it like to another XLR cable, it's not well placed. Let's say like I have another one here. Check. It's like this. If you want to add it like straight to another cable, it's fine. If you want to put it to um, a sound card, it's not going to fit. So you're going to have to bend it and this will break. They should have think like a little bit different for that, uh, that design. This capsule, the 4099, is a capsule that is built for violin, viola, cello, double bass, mandolin, banjo, name it. There's different order for it. So this capsule is kind of universal. I know a lot of people doesn't really know how to use it. I've been in different gigs where they give us, they put this on the chair and people are just like, I don't know where to place it. Ergonomically, this microphone has been designed to be put on the left side of the instrument. You have the holder, you actually could squeeze the holder that the tightest you can so it doesn't move this doesn't move and then the goosenecks you could change the angle which is like how you could change the type of sound you desire the higher it is more room you're gonna get probably like darker sound you will get and if you wanted some close miking you just go closer to the fo's you're gonna get more close mic sound um, i recommend to put it under the bridge so of course if i put it higher when you're gonna bow it's gonna hit it every time and it's gonna like get all of your breathing when you're you don't want this you want under the bridge and middle 
a little under the middle of your FOs. That's the sweet spot where it sounds the best to my taste. So this is ergonomically how it looks. I know some people with like really expensive instruments. I'm talking about million dollar soloists um, because of the rubber. It doesn't, they don't want the microphone to touch the wood. You won't be able to use this microphone, sadly for you guys. Okay, so for placement, I put the microphone exactly where I said I would put it for the sweet spot. So just so you know, this is my signal chain. I'm going microphone to my Apple Twin sound card. I'm at 37 dB straight up to my computer. I'm recording in Ableton Live 10. I'm just gonna play around PIDs, Chopin, Bose, not in that order. There you go. price wise you can buy a $40.99 for $620 and all the other accessories that are replaceable like the holder the cable uh, are sold I think the older is $45 and the cable around $30 so all these are replaceable have in mind that the microphone I reviewed today is a $40.99 V for violin 
And there's now a new version that came up a couple of years ago that is called the 4099 Core. It's the same thing, there's few little updates on it. You can look online if you wanna see what's new with it, but it's the same sound, same sound quality, same capsules. There's just few difference that you could look online if you're interested in it. The price is still the same. Customer service. As I said at the beginning of the video, uh, DPA is used on a lot of different shows. So for sure, like there's a lot of rep taking care of some of the big shows to supplies and stuff. So when you have questions as one person, as a personal person, and you send emails or you want to have information, it's not the quickest to get some of your answers back, but they will at some point answer back. They actually don't really have an ambassador program or some sponsorship if you want so. If they do, it's pretty hidden. It's very like niche uh, stuff. So for that matter, like they don't really need anybody to push their product because they have their reputation made by now. So customer service, I would say it's good. Uh, it's not the best because now they're getting pretty big and but they have service and if you have answered they will answer you just need to be patient okay so now for overall rating of this microphone i'm gonna put the chart right there so all the stuff we've seen so build quality ergonomy sound quality price and customer service will be put right there boom so as you can see like the scores are pretty nice um i really like this microphone so overall it get a score of 85 percent I think 85% is a great score. There's some stuff that could be improved. You know, there's no perfect microphone. I think what really matters to most of us is sound quality. And have in mind that when I've done those tests, all of those tests was just like, you know, I'm fiddling around just for you to hear the natural sound of it. And there's no EQ, there's no reverb. Just think of like mixing it with like the right EQ that you love and then a nice reverb. And then we get to another ballpark. It's a really great mic for that. So you could do studio work with it, live stuff with it. One of the big cons with it is if you want to play shows outside, the wind will get into the capsules and you can hear it a little bit. For noise rejection, this microphone is not the best when it comes to outside world where you have a lot of wind coming in. But at the same time, it's not a big issue. I'm just saying that like it's one of the cons with it. You need 48 volt like most microphones. Seriously. An overall awesome package, really easy to carry. For wireless, it's awesome. 85% is a really great score. I think there's no perfect microphone. I think this microphone is a beast. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Smash this like button, it really helps all the algorithm. Uh, write some comment below for what microphone or pickup you want me to uh, review next. Don't forget, be creative, think outside the box, that's the key. Peace.